Hello and welcome. Let's try to remember what I have been doing in this outgoing basket series and then let's continue to the video. So I have created an outgoing basket around one year ago, as you can see, nine months ago. Then I have been reviewing this outgoing basket regularly every month. And every month I am checking if the projects are performing well not in the price wise i am checking them if the team is working in the developments and the marketing is resuming or not and if i see a project is not performing well i am considering to remove it from the outgoing basket and also every month i am reviewing new crypto projects i'm learning new projects every day and every month while checking the outgoing basket if i like a new project i am considering to add this new project into my outcome basket or not and also there are some projects that i do not want to put them into my altcoin baskets i am putting them into my radar and i am checking them every month regularly i'm trying to decide if i want to remove them completely or if i want to switch them from the radar to the basket so all these information i am storing them inside of the portfolio of coingecko as you can see at top right there is this portfolio link under that link as you can see there is a radar when i click this radar i can see the projects in my radar currently and if i click my portfolio the second list this is storing my altcoin basket values etc pnls the numbers, etc. So overall, the current situation is after nine months, after one year, I have three hundred and forty-five dollars inside of my altcoin basket, dollars worth of tokens, and twenty-one dollar of this number is profit. So actually, I have invested around two three hundred and twenty-five worth of usds into the altcoin basket in the last one year and then i have profited 20 dollars so after the last video october 2024 i made my transactions and the latest results is shown in here and today with this excel file i will decide what will i do next and i will make my transactions after this video then we will be able to see the current situation one month later once more so the current basket is shown in here and the current radar is shown in here and the latest reviews from the latest altcoin basket video in october there are four projects i have reviewed so i will decide my new basket and then i will decide my new radar let me read the names first so in the current basket, the project names are Kilopi, Concordium, Internet Computer, Helium, Astar, Cadena, Harmony, Telos, Arkham, Azero, Sui, Mina, Carte, Sitala, Joystream, Ergo, Luxo, Zeta Chain. In here, you can see in the last one month, these four projects are performing well. They're working hard. And there is one project, it is not working really hard in the last one month. And all the others are working at the same level so in the ranking all projects have space in front of them to grow if they work hard so according to these information in here you can see the price wise increment or decreasement according to these information so i will keep nearly all of them inside of my altcoin baskets but only two names i will remove so there are many reasons for each project i'm checking them very carefully i will not go in detail in this video but for tala and joy stream i will tell the reason why i want to remove them first of all i would like to decrease the number of the projects in my basket that is why i have pushed myself to decide to remove some projects so i have decided number one is tala because they have a situation someone hacked this protocol and, and now they have some serious problems so i think they can handle it but in that progress i do not want to be involved uh, yes 
and my talent number is not really high, but still I would like to decrease the number of the projects. That is why I will remove Tala. And for Joystream, the project's team is not really working hard in the last one or two months. That is why I would like to remove Joystream in this video as well. So for both projects, even if I remove them, maybe in price-wise, they will perform good. I do not know. Nobody knows. For later, if I review them again in a separate video, maybe I will I will decide to add them to the basket again. I do not know yet. So the basket situation is like this. So I have removed two projects. The other names are transferred to here. And there is one addition I will mention in a minute. So let's continue with the radar. Current radar has these projects. Chia, BlockX, Pixels, Energy Web, Hackash, IPrypex, Dynex, the root network, Casper, Flux, Manta, and Pirate Nation. Nearly all of them performing same with the previous months. And according to the ranking, they all have enough space to grow in front of them. In this radar, only Dynex and Energy Web is, are not really performing well in the last one or two months. And I just want to remove energy web from my radar in this video. So I have pushed myself to remove one project from here. I have decided energy web because even the energy web project is good and the team is strong. They're making lots of agreements with the companies. It is too much web tool, too much tradition for me. So I am really interested in Web3 and decentralized projects deeply. That is why I have decided to remove Energy Web in this video. So all the other names are shown in here and our new radar is shown in here. So according to the latest reviews, we have reviewed Kilopi, Red Belly, Nimbus, and Parkle. Kilopi is already inside of my basket. Red Belly has not been published yet. They do not have a token yet. So we are not considering it. Nimbus is an abundant project. If you want to learn more, you can go to that video, the review video. So there is still possibility for this project. Maybe the team will come back. They will do marketing, etc. The project can start to leave again. But as for now, it's abandoned and I do not want to involve. For Parkle, this project is a project that I really like in the First side. So this project has some token wasting issues. In 2025, February, March, and April, especially April, they will release many tokens and the circulation supply is quite low. And the website does not have too much information about the project. But the project's product already launched. And that product is a very innovative product. I really like it. That is why I will take this Sparkle project into the basket immediately, not to the radar, into the basket. That is why I have transferred this name from here to here. It is now in my altcoin basket. So after this video, there is also Fetty project. I have involved in pre-sale. So I'm keeping this information here to not forget when my tokens unlocked, I will release them and then I will follow the project. As for now, I'm keeping the name in here. So after this video, the new radar is shown in here. New basket is shown in here. I will make my purchases. I will make my transactions to buy new tokens. So as you can see, there is there are numbers in here, two, three, four, and five. These are the numbers I will purchase a dollar worth of tokens. So how I decided the numbers, when I come to the, my portfolio on CoinGecko, as you can see, there is an ordering sorting in here. And if I have a higher dollar worth of tokens, it's shown at top. So I have many Sui, Concordia, Markham, Cadena, but I have Fiv, Zeta Chain, Loops, etc. So I will purchase Sui $2, Concordium $2, Arkham $2, etc. etc. In the middle ones, I will purchase around $3. 
In the bottom ones, I will purchase around $4. And for the new project, this one, Parkle, I will purchase $5 USD dollar worth of tokens. So I will make these transactions after this video. So that is all from me for this video. Please do not forget, nothing is financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. Please be very careful in the crypto industry. It is still too much risky. Take care. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.